yet another eBay delight. It's a little um, USB powered light bulb. And uh, rather annoyingly, this one came with a paper, sticky paper label on it, which has left sticky residue over there, so I'll have to try and get that off. WD-40 should do it, but it's quite annoying that they put a sticker right across the plastic. But anyway, uh, let's see what sort of current this takes and see if we can work out what sort of LEDs are inside it. I'm guessing either just one, um, say one straw hat LED running at 15 milliamps, maybe more, maybe a cluster, four or five, don't really know. It's not super bright, but it's bright enough. It's very even. Uh, what are we currently getting? 150 milliamps. That's higher than I was expecting. Um, okay. That's quite high. For the intensity, that's really high. So let's uh, see if we can get this open. I don't know how this is. Is it screwed on? Nope, it's not screwed unless it's screwed and glued, or is it just pressed and... Oh, I heard it click. So it might be glued. I can see we catch. Let's use the force. All right, didn't take that much force. It's not glued, so the loud crack earlier on was me bursting it, but that's okay. I see a half watt chip. Okay, half watt chip, and a resistor, and lots of large areas of copper to try and spread the heat. Uh, what value is that resistor? The resistor is... one three zero thirteen ohms. It's quite an odd value, it's not really what I'd call a standard value, but anyway, let's uh, do the maths. It's a gallium nitride LED, so it's going to be about 3 volts drop across that, 5 volts supply, so that leaves 2 volts to drop across the resistor, 2 divided by uh, 1, uh, uh, sorry, 2 divided by 13 equals 150 milliamps, right enough. So I don't think there's anything else under this. Screwdriver. I don't think I think that's just press fitted. I think it's actually held in by the. No, it's just a bare circuit board, just tacked straight onto the USB connector in the back. And the USB connector looks almost like it's sort of ratchet latched in. There's a wee catch there. I don't know if that would release it if I pressed it down. No, no, it's uh, let's. Tightly. I mean, I can feel a bit of slack there, but um, that's it. So that's fundamentally it. It's um, the LED just it's being run about 150 milliamps. Now let's see what's uh, what's the power rating if it is uh, running at 150 milliamps. Uh, 0.15 times the three volts dissipation equals uh, 450 milliwatts. So that's pretty typical for a half watt LED then. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they did uh, warm white ones, but that's I've got some warm white LEDs. That should be quite easy to change. I have to say, this really dims it down dramatically. It's very thick, uh, well-diffused plastic. It's really thick plastic. But, uh, yeah. It's neat enough. It's a nice little light. It's nice as a novelty. And it's quite good that they have used such a large area of the copper in this just to try and spread the heat away, both from the resistor and from the, sort of, um, and the LED itself. Yeah, neat.